seven unique images expressing all things Belizean, from the father of the nation, George Price, and Philip Goldson in black and white, and transitioning to the bold cultural diversity of the country, and ending with the present day battle with the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a fusion of art and culture, and a proud moment for the city. And the mural essentially depict through their eyes. Um, it's not through my, my eyes or, or the minister's eyes, but through their eyes, the journey of an independent Belize since 1981. In their vision, they also are ensure that they included the ethnic diversity of Belize as a nation. Um, you, you certainly could, could relate to having a Lord Rayburn in there, a Leela Vernon, the Jankuno dancers. And so the artists really were able to bring together the Belize journey from our inception in 1981 up to where we are today. I have witnessed many beautiful mural paintings demonstrated by gifted and talented Belizean artists in Dangrega, Orange Wall, and Corozo. These mural paintings show us the creativity, energy, and the passion of the artists. They not only contribute to the beautification of the city, but also enlighten people's awareness and the sense of belongings for the very city they can proudly call home. One, two, three. Okay. The Independence Mural was created by Keon Griffith, Alex Sanker, and Chelsea Johnston, who began the process a little over two weeks ago. They say that it is proof that Belizeans have talent. We stand out, out of this whole mural, yeah, sorry, is that I had a 72-year-old gentleman came on a bike and he sit right here on his bicycle and he watch at the pain me and Chelsea. Keon was on that side. And where almost hurt me when he asked me which part of the state to know from. You know what I tell you, my brother? You don't have to detail. The thing is, there is a talent here. We are not given the opportunities. Being a female in the industry, um, we don't have people look down on. Look at artists more as a male type thing, muralists as a male type thing. Um, and they, they came out here sweating, and I was in the sun hat sweating just like them, you know. Um, we can do it as females also. We have a lot of females that, that are very creative and painting-wise also. Nobody did this mural individually. We three did it. Because we're buckhead at first, but we quickly realized it's three different artists, it's three different personalities. But at the end of the day, we came together. Chair of the National Celebrations Commission and Minister of Culture, Francis Fonseca, says that there must be a renewed focus on Belizean artists and culture. It's always such a great pleasure um, to see an idea come to life. And that is what this mural project is really uh, about. That's what it represents. Uh, the National Celebrations Commission having an idea and that idea coming to reality, coming to life on the walls of across our country because there are nine beautiful murals, um, eight just like the one you see behind us in every municipality. Um, so it's been a fantastic project and what I have enjoyed the most um, has been the, the community spirit that these projects have created uh, in every municipality. Dwayne Moody for News 5.